Over from myhexel.com and today is uh, the second part of building the walkie talkie app. I slightly changed the layout. <laughs> it just has uh, just one view in here when you hold it. It changes to this uh, icon and when you release the uh, it sticks to the standby mode. So it works like this uh, when you hold the button it records the track saves it uh, to file and when you release the button it sends it over the websocket yeah i use uh, java websocket backend which i host on uh, heroku i'll uh, upload the uh, the code to github as well so you can check the whole thing yes and i cannot uh, and cannot record audio during recording the screen so so yeah if you want to try it just go to github and download the repository simple stuff All right so let's get uh, through the code not much of it but yeah if you follow the previous tutorial about recording the audio track save into file we're using the media recorder for that one more thing i do not stream it to the other device I save it first then upload it then the server yeah and I use the server those devices do not uh, talk to each other directly but uh, but that's uh, that's a good thing you know just to start with something and then uh, I will bit build up more complexity like uh, WebRTC yeah and streaming is very important all right so I set this on touch listener in here. When the action is done, we start recording. Change the icon. This and uh, when it's up, when you re release the button, we start to stop recording and uh, send send the audio file to the server. Yeah, this is. Uh, Okay, HTTP3 WebSocket. It connects to this uh, WebSocket on my Heroku server. It has uh, those few overridden methods. The first is uh, on open when uh, the connection is open. I save the socket reference, and then I use it in the sent audio file. I retrieve the saved method saved file from the media recorder then uh, send the first message as a start as a start of the beginning of the file then it goes the bytes itself yeah, so that's the file channel from the file it reads it uh, saves it to a buffer then uh, you call flip which uh, changes the behavior of the buffer from a read to write then I convert it to the string representation of uh, bytes and send it as a string then just to uh, clean up the buffer for next iteration and uh, on message call on message method it's called when the the other device is receiving the file that's uh, checks for start flag if start just clear this is a list of uh, byte arrays just clear the stuff if uh, it's the end which is in here after the bytes we play received file build the file from bytes and play the audio with media player i covered uh, how to build uh, and play the audio file in previous tutorial creates a new file then output string to this file then we go through the whole through all the bytes received and write is write method with the byte array yeah, and done after that we can just play this file it gives a slight delay so it's it's not uh, just immediate the person won't, uh, won't hear you immediately uh, but once again yeah that's that's all right for now in future tutorials we'll improve it and uh, 
make it as a stream. All right, that's uh, that's it for Android part. It's pretty simple. Just to go ahead and download the repository. And I will show you what's the backend side looks like. I use the Spark Spark framework WebSocket, and you give the implementation. So. Yeah, this is a WebSocket just has three methods on connect, close, on message, and uh, yeah, on connect. We save the, the, all the sockets, all the sessions for the future broadcasting. And on message is called uh, each time on receiving. This message is uh, those bytes which I send in from Android. We call broadcast message. Gets uh, all the sessions, all the connections. So it it sends the audio to all the connected uh, devices, uh, except for uh, sender, of course. We check sender. So it's like a weird uh, walkie-talkie app for like groups. So. Yeah, and. Uh, doesn't handle the multiple audio streams simultaneously, so it might crash. But uh, that's fine for two users. Just send the stream. And yeah, that's it. I will upload the backend code on GitHub as well. Yeah, alright, thanks for watching.